Let's take a look at one CNC XR8 deburring. Now in this example you can see we have a part, a couple of vice jaws, and some parallels. Let's take our cursor and head over to the command manager, go into model tool paths, and select deburr. From here we're going to specify a tool, and in this example I'm just using a 1 8 diameter ball end mill. All my speeds and feeds look good, so I'll click next. All my clearances and depths look great, so I'm going to click next on that. Now this is where we specify the deburr amount. I have this set to 10 thousandths, and also notice that one CNC gives us a maximum deburr amount. All this looks good, so I'm going to click next. In this example, we're going to tell one CNC to deburr everything. However, I don't want one CNC to deburr the vice jaws or the parallels, so I've set a Z bottom limit of minus 700 thousandths. We'll click finish on that, and let one CNC generate the toolpath. All right, so now let's take our deburring operation into our preview tool paths. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and slow this down just a little bit, and you can see that one CNC is doing a great job of deburring all of the edges as well as all of the vertical edges. Very good. All right, let's take this now into our simulation. Let's close out of the preview. We're going to select simulation, and I'm going to use some solid models I created earlier for the stock, and here we go. All right, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And again, you can see one CNC is doing a great job of deburring all of those edges. Let's rotate this around a little bit. Very good. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for taking a look at one CNC XR8 deburring.